Okay guys, so we came here and we found exactly what we were hoping to find. And there's tons of them around here. We've got some good B-roll footage of them. So we'll definitely incorporate this into the footage of me. But all around here, there's just one right down in that bush, quite hard spot. There's another one, probably won't be able to see that one on camera, just down there, just before. There's another one up here. Just waiting for them to come back. And what's it called? Oh, so cute. So cute, mate. This what's called a little black-footed rock wallaby. It's named black-footed rock wallaby. Because it's got these real beautiful black feet. And this type of rock wallaby. He's found all around on it in this area, this rocky area. I've had trouble getting through here with, li with little sound, but it doesn't seem like a problem for him, that, that's for sure. Also gets the name Black Flanked Rock Wallaby. Yeah, so cute, mate. These guys are quite um, vulnerable, especially in, in uh, Western Australia. There's only a couple of isolated populations, um, and the subspecies in um, Western Australia, which is the one we have here, is considered endangered. Um, but it has tons of iso isolated populations. It was originally found all throughout the interior of Australia, but now it's just found where we are, Cape Range, Barrow Island, um, a couple of um, ranges in the sandy desert, but it's mainly uh, a couple of places in South Australia, and um, around Alice Springs. But that's the only place they've found that are endemic to Australia. These guys are a type of marsupial. What a marsupial is, it's, is it's a mammal with a pouch. What these guys have is like a, a pouch. And what that used for is like um, when the girls, they have a baby, they'll, hi they'll be in there, have, um, have all the milk, and stuff like that, and about, I think it was about 18 months, and the little baby will hop out and he'll be completely dependent. Well, as you can see, he's got those little ears, just behind his head, behind his eyes. And what those ears help him to do is just to hear sound. He'll, he'll be picking up me hearing, me speaking, that's for sure. He'll be able to pick up all sorts of things and through doing that he's able to sense um, where someone, someone is. And I think he's realised I'm no threat now, which hopefully means he's not going to hop away. It's not, certainly not like the other species. Oh, oh, oh! Told you there was one over there. camera back on me. As you can see, there's just one over there, just behind that bush. Did you get him, mate? Did you get him? Yeah. Okay. Well, get back on me. This uh, really cute. As you can see, he's looking at me. The reason he's doing that because his ears are probably picking me up. And um, of course, they would need an ear like that to defend against predators. There would, um, there's a lot of dingoes around here, so of course they'll be hiding from those. But another species he'll be hiding from is the introduced fox. Unfortunately, that's actually the reason these guys are considered vulnerable and actually not very widespread anymore, because of um, foxes. And unfortunately, foxes are nearly driving these guys extinct, eating them all. So, yeah, it's quite sad. and. Hopefully soon we'll get foxes eradicated from Australia and these guys will become much more widespread because they're such an awesome animal. Really, really cute. Oh, so cute. I, I wasn't expecting to get this guy to him. I, I was hoping I'd get this guy to him, but I certainly wasn't expecting to. Now, now these guys are both nocturnal and crepuscular. Crepuscular means it's active at dawn and dusk. And um, nocturnal means it comes out at night. These guys are mainly nocturnal. And in the day, what they'll do is they'll be hiding in shady parts like this, which is what he's doing just over there. Probably can't see him. But um, yeah, they'll be hiding in shady parts. But uh, at night, um, they'll be extremely active, eating all, a lot of your figs. These guys eat figs, mate. Australian native figs. Apparently, it's real good for them. Apparently, us humans can eat them, according to my camera. Anyway, they can be quite variable in coloration, and they're easily recognisable by a little bit of um, black right next to their head, and a little bit of white underneath it, and as well as that like, yellow tail. There's no other wallabies around here that look like that, but um, yeah, 
these guys are a type of macropod. Um, macropods are a form of marsupial. So macropods like your kangaroos, your wallabies, like these guys, and all of those. And yeah, it makes them different to so, uh, other marsupials like your monotremes, like your echidna and platypus, and whatever koalas are and wombats are. Where he went. But at least we have this one up here, and there's another one just up there somewhere. Not exactly sure where he is. But often they hide in um, all these rock crevices. They can be quite hard to spot, and you need to be quiet in order to find them. The only reason I'm allowed to talk like this and actually be near them is because they've realised I'm not a threat. But they're still looking at me, so they're still a little bit wary. But um, I think they've realised I'm no threat, so they're just going about their business, and I'm just going about my business, which is so awesome, mate. Um, these guys are quite unusual animals. They're like the head of a mouse, and the body of a rabbit, and the tail of something. And um, yeah, they're completely unrelated to anything that's, come, that's from the United States. Oh, I think he's feeding. I think he's feeding. As you can see, he was just using his little paws to just look in that little tree. And now he's grooming himself. Wow. I, I was not expecting to have this guy. Get this guy's mate. <laughs> I've no awesome experience. A lot of people are coming along here. And, of course, see, he would be wary of those people, but a lot of people don't realise that they're just here. You, you just need to be quiet to find them. So if you're walking along these tracks and you're making a lot of noise or you're just walking through and not ignoring pretty much anything, you're not going to find them because they're extremely camouflaged. As you can see, that grey coloration easily blends in with all these rocks, all these, um, well, not one of the red ones, but rocks like this, mate. So, you can see how we easily blend in with these rocks. Right? Oh, it's getting pretty windy out now, eh? Oh, hopefully. Hopefully that dead cat on the microphone can help. Well. Now, as you can see, those feet, he's got those feet and their lower legs pretty much like a spring. What that allows me to do is just hop along just like a rabbit and just like other species of macropod and that allows them to get all, all over these rocks. These rocks are quite sharp and jagged. They hurt to step on and can be quite hard to get over with zero noise, just like my boot, with my boots and stuff. But these guys seem to have no trouble on it. That blows me away. Wow, I just love how he's hunched over like that. It makes him look so cute. If, if we're lucky, he might get a little bit closer. Please get closer. Oh. As you can see, he's using that tail. He's got a prehensile tail. What that means is um, sort of use that to like wrap around trees and stuff like that, grip to some of the rocks. Also, as it functions as a third limb. So he'll use it to balance when he's all tripod, which is called tripod. You can sort of see why. Hopping up there. Then. Wow. I think he trusts us now. How cute he is! Not sure what he's doing, but I know he's not scared of me. But if I were to make any sudden movements or just like run up to him, of course he'll be scared. But me just sitting here talking, he's completely fine. Wow, how awesome he's just grooming himself in that in the shade right there. Oh, how cute! Oh. Yeah. Awesome, mate. Awesome. Oh, just... Oh, he's eating! He's eating! He's eating. He's just eating right in front of us. He's eating one of the um, leaves of this mangrove tree.
cute. He is, mate. Just saw him eating. Now he's grooming himself. Wow. Unfortunately, he's the only one that's about. There was another one that was just down here. But I'm not sure where he went. Probably hiding in one of these rock crevices because they're quite hard to spot. But yeah. Oh, what's he doing now? Sniffing around using that nose. Just sniffing around. Yeah, that's pretty much all the noise these guys make. Just sniffing around. They're almost completely silent. They're just hopping over there. And it's just hiding in that bush, just look over there. You wouldn't even be able to see him. That's how camouflaged he is. I don't even think my cameraman can see him. Which is why he's just waiting for the camera there. Like a spastic chimpanzee. Hmm. Well, these rocks are getting very uncomfortable. I know. Okay. Not sure if you'll be able to see this, mate. Oh my god, my hands is hands were right next to it. The nose patch up there. Right down here. That's rock wall will be done. It's not surprising because there's just two of them. Or one of them. Just up there. Turn around. Turn around. Just a little grooming himself right up there. So this goes to show. Okay. This goes to show how many of them there are around here. How awesome, mate. Turn the camera off. Wow, mate, that was that was bloody amazing, Struf, mate. I, I was not expecting to get cl that close to a bunch of vulnerable animals, mate. Wow, they, they are so cool and need our help, mate. Now, um, yeah, that was an awesome experience. Found some native figs, went down through here, all these rocky areas. It's it's amazing. Oh, look, there's one just over there. Oh my god! Just as we film the outro, just on cue, there's two of them. Oh my god, look. And they're kissing or something like that. Wow, mate, that is just amazing. Probably smelling each other. What a beautiful backdrop for the outro. Probably won't be able to see it. We'll have to point them out. But anyway, yeah, um, please like, subscribe um, in order to boost my ego. And please share this video, in particular on Reddit. That will do much more help than liking or subscribing. If you can, no, please do all of them. And um, I'll see you in the next video. That will probably be out in a while.